You're tired. It's Christmas. It's not Christmas, it's fake Christmas, and if you want to stop, that's absolutely fine. No one will mind. Just leave it. I think that you've had enough for today. Listen, everybody, this has been great, but um, Sinead's starting to feel tired, and Bertie will be due for a feed soon, so why don't we call it a day, eh? Well, probably for the best. Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah, yeah. No! Please, everyone, just sit down. I've not even had pudding yet. Don't you make decisions for me. This is my Christmas, not yours. Stop bullying me. How can you call me a bully? You tried to cancel Christmas. Yeah, I did, because I didn't think you were well enough and I still don't. Look at you. I know. What I look like. I see myself in the mirror every day. But if I can get just that tiny bit of strength, I'm gonna use it and not be confined to bed by you. Uh, maybe it would be better if we went. You think that I want to confine you to bed? I think you'd strap me down if you could. Lock the doors, keep me all to yourself. Oh, and I'll tell you another thing. I am sick of the smell of scented candles. Right. Well, I'm sorry if I'm not getting every aspect of this right, but have you stopped and considered even once how hard this is for me? Uh, I'll see to him. How hard this is for you? Oh. Well, I'm sorry if my imminent death is making you all sad. Okay, I'll be sure to keep my terminal illness to myself next time. So long as I spur your precious feelings. Now you're just being ridiculous. I'll tell you what's ridiculous. You. Making all this about you. I'm trying to have a happy day with my loved ones. And you are trying to ruin it. Well, maybe I should just go then. Brilliant idea. Are you being serious? Too right, I'm being serious. We don't need you. I don't need you. Go on. Go. Don't bother coming back. 